What's going on, all you beautiful babies out there in LPN TV land? Are you ready to get brighter sided? We're going to break the side out of your fucking ass. That's right. Ass. Prepare for positivity right up that butthole and out of that mouth the wow. other way. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you know how it is. It's Amber Nelson Day here at the Brighter Side in LPN TV. You just did Spun. Let did. us know in the comments if you're coming from Spun and sticking around for more Amber Nelson. This is a totally different show, by the way. We were discussing C scam and this girl that said like weirdly got really hurt at her college campus and there's no uh, photographs. But today, what's the brightest side of that? Um, more cameras. That's right. More surveillance. That's right. On the public. That's what we're doing. That's the brighter side, huh? There's always cameras on us here at LPN That's TV. That's right. Dr. Hooligan42 still here from Spawn. Thank you so much. Yes. What's going on? So this is the brighter side. If it's your first time tuning in, towards the end of the show, we're going to get to some gripes from the audience. And a gripe, everyone knows, is something you, shitty happening in your life. Something bad. Some caca doo-doo stuff. Doo-doo. You know? So you go ahead. You throw those gripes in the chat. We got James over here monitoring the chat, and he's going to send them over to my little box over here. And at the end of the show, guess what happens? We're going to fucking talk about your problems, and we're going to tell you why your problems ain't problems. They're not that bad. I got my gripe if we want to get going. Let's get moving here. So I ordered a water pitcher, right? Standard, beautiful water pitcher. Brita or just like just like a Life lemonade straw. type? Oh, From Life, Life Straw. straw. It's fancy. They I make like pitchers? my pitchers? I like my nice water, right? So I order it, and they're like, oh, if you want to track the shipment, download this app. And I'm like, I don't want to download another fucking app. I hate that shit. I gave you money. Give me the thing I bought. Ugh. And they said, download the app. And I was like, ugh. So I did. And they said, put in the tracking number. And then I did. And then I just kept getting ads. Like, it would stop it and then put on, like, don't you want socks? Don't you want bath bombs? And I'm Ugh. like, no, I don't want any of this. I want my life straw picture. That's all I fucking wanted. I paid you money for it. These fucking animals, man. I peaked in I the sound. I can't even do it. No, it's fine. We don't you know? need any more stuff. If we, if the world stopped producing more crap, more plastic crap, we could survive, I'm guessing, two years on what we already have. Oh, more. 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 I mean, maybe we need some food. I mean, food, but as far as like, I walked into Target the other day to get some batteries, exactly. And it was like Easter buckets that looked like shit, and they were all over. And I was like, this I've is. I've been getting mad about this as well. We've like, you know, growing up in the 90s, we like, I, I, everything, we just had so much shit. It all went into landfills. And right. I look, almost had a panic attack the other day thinking about. Where the fuck is all this shit going? It's a, a dolphin. He's playing with Mega Man. I had an old record player that I had to get rid of. You know, so I'm like, I don't want to throw it out because what's going to do? Sit in a landfill for two thousand years? Right. But now I'm just carrying around a broken record player for years. So I threw it out and I got sad. Oh. Uh, so what are you going to do? What are you going to um, do? But so what's the brighter side of like I bought the thing and instead of you telling me where how I can get it when it's there's coming? There's no tracking number. There is, but they just kept like I would put in three numbers and it would go bloop. Here's some socks. And I was like, I don't want your socks. Ugh. And put in another couple of numbers. Bloop, here's a bathrobe. And Man. I was like, I don't want your bathrobe. Another number. Bloop, don't you want a bath bomb? No, I don't. I don't even have a bathtub. Yeah, well, now you know that you hate Life Straw. You know, even though they're out there saving people, trying to protect the universe. I think it's just like a natural company. I think it's all of these, like, because I didn't want to order through Amazon. I ordered through that third-party original company. Yeah. And I think this is how they get you. Yeah. You know, and by the way, if you are an Amazon Prime, uh, Prime person, you know, first of all, shame on you. But at the same time, if you can subscribe to LPN TV for free. And we get paid, and you already pay for your subscription. So if you have Amazon Prime, just do us a favor. Go over there and subscribe real quick. Uh, oh, Padma is the best. Says, love you guys. Thank you, Padma. Love you too, Padma. Put your hat up a little bit, Ed. It's your eyes are getting blocked. I'm sorry. I'm like a mom. I'm sorry. No, I've actually, people have been yelling at me about that a lot lately. It's weird to have your hat sit up like here. I know, and I wasn't going to wear a hat, but I'm just a sweaty mess because I didn't go home today, and I'm Aww. just gross, and so this is what you guys get. You Look great. I don't think that's true at all. The brighter side is sweat makes your pores look nice. Does it? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. The um, now I will say uh, uh, piggybacking off of you, um, I have my own gripe, which we'll get to in a second. Mm -hmm. But 
The same shit just happened to me. Uh oh. I ordered a Herschel backpack, you know, because I like my Herschel products. I think they're good, reliable type, new Jansport type shit. Yeah. Right? I've had the same Herschel backpack for six years, but now the zippers are getting all fucked up. So I'm like, I'll go buy a new Herschel backpack, you know? And so I, oh, Pat was the best. Subscribe to your one. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Welcome to the fucking team. <laughs> um, by the way, if we get a hype jam, we're going to dance. Yes. And um, so uh, go ahead and throw those subs in the chat and I will eat them. The, um, but I, so I, 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 a couple weeks go by, I'm like, where the fuck's my Herschel backpack? Why, what's going on here? And so I send them a little message, and they're like, oh, it says it was delivered. And I'm like, <gasps> then I look, track the number, and it says lost in transit. No. So I was like, no, it says lost in transit. Uh, you know, here's check it again. Your fucking notes are bad. And they said, take it up with UPS. We no. don't give a shit. <gasps> take it up with UPS? What is this, a boxing fight? Yeah, Come on. And so I took it up with UPS, and they're like, oh, it's lost. I don't they know what stole the it. And so, um, I, so I complained a lot, and I got a backpack. But finally. The brighter side is you get to complain. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. complaining. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let way, me talk way, to way. your fucking upper people. I'll talk to your manager. You can call me a Karen all day. Ooh. You misplace my backpack. I'm going to call until I get it. Nope. That's not a Karen, though. We got a Bendy Pants 420. Loved having a bonus episode today. Glad that's a weekly thing now. That's right. Um, Brighter Side Stories every Wednesday from now on. is a right. second podcast. So we're doing two podcasts a week, and then this every other week, and then the Hoopa Goo Goo game is going to come eventually. But the, uh, the, uh, Oh, my God. Know. I forgot about that. Yeah, no, it's another thing we're working on. But, uh, yeah, no, so you guys got to fight. You're stuck with us. We're here for it. You know, and, and, and you know what's crazy is because we recorded two podcasts today. We recorded both of our Brighter Side podcasts, mm -hmm. and then Amber did Spun, mm -hmm. and now we're doing this. So Amber's working on Overdrive I over love here. this. I love talking. Next week, you're going to see Amber on Double Time again because uh, next on uh, March 27th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, Tears of a Clown with Amber Nelson. Serial mascots by fuckability they're going to be ranking. That's right. Tone of the Tiger, I feel like he would give me an STD. Oh, absolutely. That's right. But you'd have a great time getting it. That's right. Um, <laughs> they're <yeah>. great. <laughs> <laughs> so my personal gripe is um, I fuck my neck up. <gasps> is I it better, myself. though? It's, it's on the road to better. But I was like, it, I took me out. Like, I was like, hey, you know, I had to, you know, moving like this, you know. Ooh. But, yeah, it took me out. I didn't realize how fragile I was. Oh, that hurt. And I haven't been able to. I love cracking my neck. Maybe that's how I got in this situation. But uh, I haven't been able to crack my neck in a week, and I feel like a fucking piece of shit, and I go <sighs> crazy. You know, I think the brighter side of this is realizing how tender and precious your body is, because yeah. you only get one. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you should take up swimming. Yeah. They have to have a pool at the YMCA or something. I don't go to the YMCA. Young Men's Christian Academy. Or try to go to prison. <laughs> and he can't, like, <laughs> right. They have the Gold's Gym. I, you know. I, you don't want to swim. I don't want to swim. Marcus has a pool. I'll fucking steal it from him. Yeah, go there. Uh, you know, but um, we got some jokes. You like jokes? I love jokes. Yeah, we got some topical news jokes. That's something we like to do here on Brighter Side Live on Twitch. You keep it real like a, like a go ahead and you, you live your life. And it's like a late night show here, but it's early. It's it's fun. Yeah. Actually, Ed wrote my jokes. So these are Ed's jokes. You were busy. But they're great. You were busy today. I don't know. We'll see what these happens. These are funny jokes. Should right. I go first with you, your jokes? You go first. You go first. You go Influencer first. Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson in a fight soon. My God, the entire world seems to be rooting for Mike Tyson. Imagine being so hated by people that they'd rather get you beat up than a convicted rapist. <laughs> Truth. Truth. Uh, yeah, the, you know, a lot of people don't know this. This is actually true. Um, the Tool guitarist, um, Maynard James Keenan. You like Tool, right? Oh, kinda. Tool's a little too fuckboy for me. It I is like a little fuck I like boy. Deftones. They're still kind of fuckboy, but mm -hmm. they're a little mm -hmm. bit different than Tool. Well, the the guitarist Maynard James Keenan is helping Mike Tyson train for the fight, and he's oddly qualified for the job to train Tyson because he knows how to ruin a Tool. <laughs> yeah, see, that's right. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Oh yeah, Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul. Jake Paul is a YouTube celebrity. Uh, that's why he's fighting because he's not a, a an author because he can't read. <laughs> I wrote that on the fly. Good job. Good job. That's good not job. even a joke. Hey. Wait, wait, when Was he gonna here, fight gonna me? Here. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he would. He would beat the shit out he has of me. A, he's a checkered past. <laughs> Vanderpump Rules star Shayna Shea claims to have been in an orgy with John Mayer, even though it was an orgy. Technically, it was just two of them because they had sex. It looked like the world's advice fucked themselves. Um, they took the world's advice. I'm did sorry. I, did I, did I, no, I, I missed that. They when took they had the sex, advice. they took the world's advice and fucked themselves. 
So there was only two of them, but since they were fucking themselves, it's an orgy because there's kind of four of them. That's right. It's a numbers fuck joke. I think it kind of works. Uh, no, I know. I messed up. What are some John Mayer songs? Like, I'm just a boy looking for an underage girl. <laughs> <laughs> is that, I don't know if he has. Uh, my Body's a Wonderland, I think. Or is it Your Body's a Wonderland? And then uh, Gravity. Gravity, Great. you know. She's stuff. a brick. She's a brick. I'm sweating like a Giuliani up here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Um, six Squirrel uh, Logan versus Tyson. Whoever wins, we lose. That's right. Um, actress Lola Goldini claims that Johnny Depp was verbally abusive to her on, on the set of Blow. Johnny Depp responded today saying, Nothing of the sort happened on set. I'm always a gentleman to my co stars, and if that bitch keeps talking trash, I'm going to shit in her fucking bed. <laughs> I don't like Johnny Depp. Um, oh, no, no, that's all oh yeah, that was a funny joke, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He skeeves me out. He's always back. has, Ozzy. Always will. Um, Bernie Sanders is fighting for Americans to have a four-day work week. He proposes that employees will still get paid the same for the 32-hour work week. What will Americans do with the extra eight hours? Shoot each other? <laughs> <laughs> that's good, Ed. That's good. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. These are the jokes, folks. These are the jokes. Oh, butt bag, McButts 420. Dude, I pinched a nerve in my neck, uh, my back, Ed. Um, I'm fucking dying over here. It, it goes away. And if you got a good friend um, married to Jackie Zabrowski, he'll get you drugs. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just kidding. God, I wish I could delete what I said about J the Jake Paul Mike Tyson YouTube thing that he can't read. Because it wasn't funny. But, you know, we're here You're live. riffing. We're riffing. We're riffing. We're, we're, riffing. Here. we're here for we're, it. Our bodies are wonderland. Yeah. Um, James, uh, we got a little chat thing here. If you could do me a favor, make the font a lot bigger. I can't read. Um, see, look at this. Big ass font. Um, are we here? Oh, mummified monkey remains. This oh. is what happened. This was in the news today. Uh, mummified monkey remains were found in luggage at Logan Airport in Boston. Um, you know, that's why I never check my luggage uh, and I put my monkeys in the overhead compartment because you never know how long it takes for JetBlue to get you your bags. <laughs> Good job, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. These are jokes. <laughs> These, These are, are jokes. Monk mummified monkeys in Boston. There's got to be some Dunkin' Donuts thing there. Like, that's how they get their creamer. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The cum. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, the, you, 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 usually the donuts in Boston are moist. I don't know. You guys tell me. You're usually We're funnier than up. us. You, you guys are great over there. <laughs> Uh, listen, I love all of you so much, and I really appreciate you tuning into the brighter side. And on the brighter side, every week, we like to take some time and we like to show some fun, nice, sweet little videos. Yes, and it also is good for me when I clock out of work. Mm -hmm. I get to go home and sort of relax, but also still like get a funny video or two and be like, that'll be good. That'll be good for the show. Yeah, I'll it, bookmark it. And it makes my scrolling. I give a reason to scroll because I'll just, if I find something fun, I show you people. Oh, right. You know, and I'm not just a fucking asshole scrolling all the time. No, Ed's not on TikTok, so this is how he scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> We're ripping. I deep sea scroll. Yeah, that's We're right. Um, Carrie Joe, did you guys hear about the vegan gluten free bakery trying to pass off Duncan as their own donuts? That's funny. These pieces of shit. Well, I mean, isn't the, um, oh no, they're, none of them are gluten free, are they? Are they? Are they? Who no, knows? they're donuts. No. I don't know how it fucking I don't oh, know how donuts work. It's in the name. Right. It's in the name. I'm an idiot. Um, Nerees47, a bad joke is better than no joke at all. Thank you, Nerees47. Yeah. You get us. Yeah, thank you. I got you, babe. <laughs> um, all right. So we got some vids. Um, we, we A little extra, you know, obviously we always do some animal stuff. Yeah. You know, so, so you got, you're, you're going up first this week. Well, why as don't you know. Why don't you uh, lead us in? Well, cicadas are going to come out of their hole soon. Mm -hmm. And um, God help us if you live like above a parking lot because then they're going to come up and like boink, boink, boink underneath the concrete. But if you don't and you want to go outside, you can go see the cicadas. So we have the lovely cicada woman coming in to tell us all about it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I love to learn here on the brighter side. Let's see what's going down. First off, you have to not be afraid to lose friends because it might worry some people. Yeah. But people will be intrigued. Mm -hmm. So when you invite them to a cicada watch party, the first thing is you got to know that cicadas are coming out or it'll be a major letdown. Yes. So again, make sure you check on the Cicada Mania website. Where are the cicadas going to be emerging? It's a real website. And if you know they're near you, they're in a park, they're in your yard, you're golden. So then you want to suggest to everyone, you come in a cicada costume. Or yeah. you could let them be in any insect. The key is, obviously, giant eyes. Yeah. Um, you want to bring flashlights. 
or headlamps or you can because if you're using your phone flashlight it's hard to make videos because everyone's going to want to film these little nymphs coming out of the ground going up the tree so oh. right queen if you can get someone to make a cicada cake that is pretty cool it's jackie's job because people are like i can't eat that and if you've got a chef that would like to saute little nymphs there's a lot of chefs that do that it's just like eating soft-shelled crab except it tastes a little bit different except you it's a bug that as well yeah but a cicada watch party is they come out at dusk and they're going to be sometimes even late in the day they're going to be coming out coming up the trees and it's a fantastic learning experience because they really don't care that you're there watching they don't care one single bit exhibitionists i love it i want to do cicada watch party mm-hmm. oh um viva noir when the cicadas came up during covid i got into preserving pinning bugs and now i have cicadas framed all over my apartment wow they're going to come up and see their little friends crucified <laughs> i used to do that I, I had a i had a problem with uh these beetles in tallahassee they were bothering my house a little bit and so what i did was i took a beetle and i put it on a nail and i stuck it next to my sink Beatles are gone pretty soon after that. Really? I don't know if they were out of season or they caught the hint, but they fucking stopped coming and I fucking hated those cards. Yeah, you fucking Dracula that. Hell yeah. I That's right. That Nobody Man, invaded that territory now. I've never seen cicadas. Um, you know, the uh, I I like cicadas. I think they're I've seen dead cicadas. When they came up in COVID in Cincinnati, I saw a bunch of uh, dead cicadas because I got there like the week after they died. Mm-hmm. But I, I would love to party with some cicadas. Let's have a cicada watch party i think we all should they're so harmless and you can like literally just let them cover you and nothing's gonna happen i bet we could live stream it yeah live stream i don't do we don't get cicadas out here i'm sure we can check the cicada mania website and see if there are amen to that that's right uh butt bad butts 420 crabs are just underwater bugs they are those are crawfish Those are crawfish. But crabs are like a bigger crawfish, though. They're yeah, meaner. They're not bugs, though. They party, man. They you know, they get hammered and shit. They're always crawling right. in and out of holes, unlike a bug. <laughs> crabs are my um, astrology animal. Yeah. And if you listen to the brighter side uh, stories next week on Wednesday, a week from now, we're going to talk about astrocartography. Yeah. So that's the- sort of like astrology, but you put in what time, where you're born, all that, and lets you know like the lines on Earth that suit you best. Yeah, and then we're actually going to get to a little bit of the astrocartography here on this show in a little bit. Um, so, speaking of the brighter side this week, uh, over on last podcast on the left, we're talking about David Icke and reptilians all week. And if you guys listen, God bless you. I don't know how you did it, but the uh, but so I figured, why not do a little crossover? And so, not I don't want to talk about reptilians on the brighter side because I'm already nauseous talking about reptilians on last podcast, shedding so, their skin. Yeah, and so, but I wanted to like, but we're so we're going to talk about snakes this week because you know we love our animals we think they're great and snakes they got a bad reputation you know i actually came out of the show loving snakes yeah i had a great time we did we recorded it earlier today fucking pro snake let's rock but here are a couple uh snake videos let's see the first one there kelly by the way shout out to to kelly tierzo on the ones and twos today sitting in for eric whose wife squirted out a baby (laughs) um (laughs) let's let's see the first one see the dog snake now this one's upsetting, but everything's fine. Look at this oh, shit. Sweetie. <gasps> oh, Look at no this. Problem. Is he upset? Is the dog he upset? He got the snake. He's him. happy. Yeah, no, he's he happy. This, this isn't filmed down. well, for sure. You know. Because he's getting a snake off the dog. Yeah, then but someone else gets the camera here. But yeah, no, these guys. I love watching snake guys. Uh, they, they capture snakes. I love their videos. They're always so crazy. But that dog, it had a snake. And the black lab, very Rambo. Wow. And what did we learn this week is that Rambo and black labs love to eat reptiles. Dead or alive. He we, ate a head of an alligator. Rambo ate the head of an alligator this week. And you know, I've been talking about it a lot, and it's been making me upset. And uh, I've been pulling teeth out of his butt. Alligator teeth. He ate a full alligator head mummified ed doesn't yeah, just keep taxidermies. alligators in his apartment it was taxidermy and i bought it at a souvenir shop in florida with the intention of mailing it to april straight a former editor of the brighter side as a thank you for editing all of our extra brighter side episodes about alligators last year you should send her a tooth he shout out I, you she know what it. i think she would love a shit covered tooth yeah. yeah but um bramble's gonna live it seems very dangerous um yeah no it's a uh, because of all the teeth and the bones and like once a bone is cooked it could splinter in their guts and so it was real touch and go there Aww. but today i finally got 
a, a half a poo poo with no uh, with no teeth or nothing. Now, in did it. you construct the dog shit bones together again? Yeah, no, I want my alligator back. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's 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 a buzz. My black lab used to eat lizards when I lived in Florida. Yeah, man. That's cute. No, I had a Irish setter who ate lizards, and every day she would eat a lizard. Swear to God, every day she would eat a lizard like clockwork, and then the same day she would fucking vomit it up. So uh, she was stupid, and so was Rambo, and I'm sure your dog is too, sick squirrel. No offense, but th- you know their black labs are. <laughs> fucking moron sometimes right well dogs can't be too smart all right so i don't think i like snakes even though like we talked about them and we found the positive side of snakes and all that stuff but you know they're they're scaries you know they're venomous you know anything can happen and and uh little ash says i dated a dude with uh, two baby gators he caught uh he caught in his apartment red flag I don't know. He caught them in his apartment? Like, they were, like, in the toilet, and he was like, I got them. I'm pretty sure the alligators were in the uh, were in the wild, and he caught them, and then he put them in his apartment. They're going to get bigger, you know? Yeah, they, or, you know, you keep them in a small space, and you torture them, and they stay small. That's right. Or flush them down the toilet, and then they can go fight it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love a good sewer gator. That should be it part it, two. Yeah. Oh, once in Valdosta, Georgia. Valdosta, hey, you got yourself a nice little amusement park there. Um, they had an eight-foot alligator stuffed and uh, in a Street Fighter arcade game for sale for 1100 bucks. Wow, steal. I mean, steal. I mean, that's basically a free alligator as far as I'm concerned because a right. Street Fighter arcade game, 1100 bucks. That's great. That's a great way to spend your COVID money. Your recession check or whatever we had two years ago. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, and you still have 100 bucks to buy uh, Twinkies. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's watch this crazy snake uh, video here. This is terrifying, Amber. Look at this shit. <laughs> Oh. You talk about copperheads. Ooh. Look at this. There's a couple of them there. Oh, my God. What is this? Damn, you can jump in there, slip and slide. Ooh, look at all them snakes. I'd leave it alone, personally. Of course you leave it alone. This guy's crazy. He's just going in there. So many. He's got to have boots on or some shit. No. Oh, my Lord. Look at all them rattlers. Wow. That's fucking terrifying. That is. Why did he get up in there? I mean, it was a... You know, if he didn't, we wouldn't have we a wouldn't video have to show. We wouldn't have this video, you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, those snake videos were brought to you by Pendle Electric. Yeah, you're a dependable electrician. Go on down to, if you live in the South Florida area, hit up Pendle Electric. You know, you'll take care of all of your electricity needs. And don't look them in the eye. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> PendleElectric.com. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so what's going on with this sewer man that oh, you're talking right. about? Oh, right. So, here? you know, speaking of snakes, snakes live in sewers. You can throw the alligator down the sewer. Here's just a guy having a great time in the sewer. Not all sewers are scary. Oh, I mean, they're not all scary. They're all gross. Right. Go, you know, let's have fun. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Swung in my face with his finger. There we go. Sinning my life with his words. Give me Ula. This isn't a sewer. It's something. It's a cave. Oh, it's a cave. Sorry, I forget. It's nature sewer. <laughs> right. It's crazy. It's worse. What do you think happens in a sewer, Amber? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, is this guy having a great time? He's you, singing. You, you love Lauren Hill. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's what. That's why you picked that. That's one. why I think he's having fun. Obviously, he's he having lived. a great time. He lived, or else we wouldn't get the video. Well, I mean, sometimes they don't live, and they recover the phone, and then we get the video. Right. You know, found footage movies. That's what they're all based on. I didn't see there. any skinwalkers down there. Yeah. He's going good. All sewers are caves. Not all caves are sewers. Thank you, Alex. That guys for your. Nerd information. All sewers are caves, not all caves are. Oh, because sometimes a cave is dry. Yeah, Got it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, and sometimes, you know, they're not, caves aren't always filled with human shit. Mm. I read a story about the spelunking crew, and they went in this cave just for fun. Great word, by the way. It's spelunking? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it word. sounds like shit splashing in a toilet. But, anyways, mm. they're going down there, and that's where you're like underwater in a cave, right? And so they're all going down there, and one guy just, he's the, he's the, the, 
the maverick of the group, and he just decides to kind of go over there for a little bit, and they lose him. And so the two guys come out, and they're like, where is he? And they try to find him, so they call the cops, and the cops are like, we're not going down there. And they're like, please, we we promise he's alive. And they're like, he's dead. And so they, they block everything off, and they're like, all right, bye. And they leave. And then I think like months and months later, they all do another, it's opened up, they do an excavation. They find him in a neighboring cave with a hole, a pocket hole of air. He survived on a rock in the middle of this water for two weeks Whoa, in what, the what dark. What did he eat? Nothing. He dies of starvation. Well, you said he survived. He survived two weeks. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I think he had like had a little something on him, maybe like a snack bar. You yeah. can survive a long time with no food and no water, but he died Probably alone yeah. in the dark. So he did die. So he did die. You said survived. Oh, I'm sorry. And then you said died, and then you said survive no, again. No, he died. He died in there. Oh, okay. So we didn't need anything. Two guys lived, and they said, we promise you he's still alive. And that fucker was, he was still alive for two weeks. Man. Can you imagine being in total darkness? and like For two weeks? He could have like gone back down in the water, but he's probably so freaked out about getting lost and like yeah. losing oxygen. He's, I love naps, you know, but I don't think you can get a good one there. No, and apparently the, like when they did a rescue operation at first, they were like, hello, hello. And they were like feet away from this guy but he was so tired he was like i'm in here and they couldn't find him one day you're gonna read a happy story <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> one day i can't wait for one. one day you're gonna come up to me like hey there's like a great story there's an apple orchard and it's successful <laughs> <laughs> one day um here he you know I love, you know, back, I'm going back to animals. I can't okay. help myself. Um, but when I was in Africa, now it's Ooh. not a flex, I'm just trying to talk to you guys here. When I was in Africa, we went on a couple safari tours and they were so much fun. I had a good time. And I went on four tours total. And one of the tours, there was a different guide in the Jeep every time. And like one of the tours, the guide was amazing. Like he was like, he would like stop and he's like, oh, look. And he'd like stop the fucking truck and we would get out and he'd like find this giant centipede and stuff and he'd like pick it up and show it to us. Wow. It was so cool. What was the other guy? Just some guy from Costco being yeah. like, yeah, I uh, run a safari. <laughs> they were all seemed uh, relatively dangerous people. But right. the, um, but this guy, he was, uh, but this guy, he showed us like a giant anthill. You know, he showed us how like, Warthogs, they just fucking party with everybody. Aww. But he was scared to death of elephants, which was crazy because I like, I just wanted to, I wanted to see a bunch of elephants because I love elephants. I think they're the king of the jungle, in my opinion. They really are the king of the elephants. I don't king. like lions, to be honest. Really? I think they can go fuck. I don't like them. Really? Yeah. I don't, mm. wow. Even though my my son signed, the women are kind of in control or control of their society. I guess they just eat all the animals from the ass to the mouth, and they're like it's a hippopotamus or it's like a, a giraffe, like help me, and they don't they just eat none of them. I don't yeah, they're like whatever. millennials. <laughs> um, <laughs> all the ass. Just, yeah, that's yeah, right. But, but I remember, like, this guy, he, like, saw, he's like, Any, if you see an elephant, make sure you tell me, and we'll go the opposite way, because he was scared to death of elephants. He saw an elephant over on the ridge, and he's like, we're not going there. There's an elephant over there, you know? So it was, like, you know, kind of mad, you know, because I wanted to see the elephants. But um, here's a video on uh, why he was right. Ooh. Look at this shit. Whoa! He lifted the whole fucking truck! Back away. Drive away. It probably thinks it's like another elephant. Well, at least that's they, a free colonoscopy in there because you're going to shit your pants. <laughs> yeah, those bulls are so territorial. The females really don't fuck with you as much as the bulls do. And I remember one time we took a turn and we were like face face with a fucking elf, with, like, with a bull with those big ass tusks. And he like gave us a little. Pff, pff, well, I can like that little Ooh. puff, and then so we, we went in reverse, and he kind of chased us a little bit, but then he left, and it was fine. But uh, it's scary, man. Oh, Carrie Joe, an elephant crashed a woman's funeral, and I'm on the elephant side. Yes, all right. right. I remember this story. We because talked about this. Because she fucked with it a while ago. Yeah, she. Yeah, and then uh, and then the elephant killed her, and then came to her funeral, and then destroyed her casket at the funeral. I remember that story. Great elephant story. Um, <laughs> Vivinar, um, one of my safari tours in South Africa got cut short because some British lady could not stop using flash photography at the male lion at night. Oh, my God. What an idiot. That's so fucking annoying. I would get furious at that shit. I remember... 
I was with uh, my cousin Jeff, and we were sitting there, and there was a bunch of lions right next to us. And like they tell you, you got to keep your arms inside the vehicle because when they look at the vehicle, they look at it a vehicle as like a giant animal, and so they don't like want to attack you or nothing. But when you're but if you put your arm outside of the vehicle that looks that makes you look like a human that that it can kill Mm -hmm. and so all this stuff and so there was a lion walking right by us and i remember uh uh jeff was at the window seat and he just went and then the guy was like do not do that (laughs) you stop sorry just started screaming at him so uh oh my god it's very uh scary and i he's like i just just remember him being like hey you know we're sitting here by the lions you know how come i'm not scared i'm like i'm scared (laughs) <laughs> I'm terrified. And if a lion kills you, I'm not helping. We would have not had Take a Banana for the Road. That's, That's the right. Jeff Ross one-man show. That's right. Buff bag meets bus. Jeff mocking the lion must have been a highlight. Um, ben John 815 There's a great tale of a man in Asia having a lamb dispute with an elephant over rice. It ended with the man in pieces and the elephant munching. Wow. The ele- Oh, the elephant going on the rice? Uh, yeah. And I marriage of just stomped him to death. Wow, these herbivores are really intense. Like the elephant, also the hippos an Hippo, herbivore. Yeah, rhino. Rhino's an herbivore. Some of the best athletes buffalo. are vegan. Buffalo. Wow. Buffalo's a fucking got buffalo gore the fucking dookie at ease. There you go. Um, so we were lightly talking about astro uh, cartography earlier, and I don't get it. But Amber's into it, and so we're learning together, and we talk about it on this week's uh, Brighter Side story. So stay tuned for that. But um, you have your astro geography chart here that we were going to look at. I do. I don't know if we can pull it up or not. Yeah, we can. We can? We, yeah, no, I, yeah we got let's a take a peek. Them. Yeah, let's take a This is uh, so. It, it, can we zoom in a little bit and so we can see what's going on? So here? this is my Venus. If we can't, that's fine. The, I just did the because you can do any kind of sign. This is my Venus sign, and yeah. the red. The, sorry, the green line is like where I could fall in love. Astroseek dot Astroseek dot com. It goes right through Brazil, as you can see it through. Not this one. The middle one. That doesn't go. It's not going through Brazil. No, the very like. See the top. Yeah. Where the green thing is, it goes all the way. Like there's a line that goes down. Oh, I was reading the chart the whole wrong the whole time then. Oh, but you know what? It also goes straight through Los Angeles. The green line. The green line. Yeah. yeah I thought it's not the curved line. Yeah, the curved one. The curved one does not go through Brazil. No, the curved one goes through L.A. and like all through Moscow and all that. But it yeah. also is straight down through Brazil. Where At does the very it straight end. down? I don't in the know. in the very middle. Okay. The prime meridian? Yeah. Oh no, no, that's the blue one. All right, great. All right, great. Well, the, uh, so so it does go through Brazil. I didn't know there were two lines I was supposed to look at. There's a bunch of lines, but I don't know what I'm talking about either. I've just been into Brazil lately. Okay. And I think you know. You're just trying to manifest a Brazilian boyfriend. Maybe because I looked at it and it was like Brazil's your thing, and I was like, okay, I don't know anything about Brazil, but then I found a couple videos on TikTok, and hey. You guys could be like, Amber, you're crazy. But I'm going to show you these. This is based off of a toy, this character in the 1980s. And um, apparently there was like a knife stuck inside some of the toys. That's the lore. Whatever. Some kids died. But (laughs) but people dress like them and they dance around the city. So let's play. And I feel like they're fine. I feel like these men are fine as hell. I like the one with the long red hair. Let's give it a go. Yeah, there we go. So that was Raggedy Ann. It looks kind of like Raggedy Ann, but he does like yeah. back flips off the wall and shit. Let's nice. play the other one. I'm telling but you. It's the same it's guy? A Get friends. Oh, wow. Oh, Mario and Luigi. They just dance around town. Good for them. I just think they're hot as, I bet they're fine, but you can't find out what they look like because they're always in the masks. I mean, I imagine they would, you know, why wear the mask if you're fine? I don't know. I think it's their they, alter ego. They do flow really well. Are you sure they're men? Yeah, they're men. Okay, great. Yolandi Vision says the green lines converge in Greenland. And that's where you should go. Book your flight now. Greenland? Thank yeah, you. That's where the two lines, uh, the curved line and the straight down line. Hey, can we throw the astro chart back up here for a second? I was reading it wrong. Yeah, no. So, so yeah, don't go to Brazil. You could go to Brazil. You'll get, so you'll get some stuff there, you know, but yeah, it could. it's right. It's in the middle of Greenland. There's nothing there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like nothing land. Oh. You know, these astro charts, man, they're you know, fucking I, trying to ruin our Greenland. lives. Go to Greenland. I'll Have go. a good time. I'll find my little weird husband over there. Mm, yes. Amber, have you seen the new purple shirt guy on the Wiggles? 
No. Is he fine? What does that mean? What are the wiggles? I don't watch childhood shows to get horny. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't. I watch them to come. <laughs> <laughs> There's this whole thing, like, because the Blues Clues guy is single now, and all the girls on, on X were like, he's single. And I was like, ugh, he's like a kid guy. Yeah, but if, you know, he's successful, you know, he's got a lot of money. I just can't he's imagine him coming children. inside of me and but being if like, you Blues have, Clues, like, it's time for mail. Imagine if you had three kids, though. Me? Yeah, if you had three kids, you know, this guy, he's, oh, trash, trashy Gashley says, so fine. So fine. But, um, yeah, the Blues Clues guy, you know, he'd be great if you already have kids. I feel like he might molest them. No, I don't know. he's not going to molest them. He's busy. <laughs> he is too busy he's with a job. He's doing work. He's, 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 he's dealing with stuff. Right. Natalie and I were just talking about this guy. It was a it was a boyfriend of this woman who looked so sad, who looked like the kind of woman that was like, I've got to have a man in my life. And he was doing bad things to her kids. But mm. she never stopped it for years and years. Oh. You don't have to have a man in your life. You know, the, now I'm thinking about it. The Blue's Clues guy. Sorry to not just keep going. I, I no. want to go back to that for Let's a second. Let's not talk about childhood. If I remember the Blue's Clues guy, though he's a skater he's like a he's like a skater dude oh. and like yeah and then uh and then he just did the blues clues thing because he was good at it oh yeah no but he's like actually like a fucking like a skater guy is he single but do you like skaters or not because i you go back and forth on this i do i do kind of go back and forth i like the athletic athletic ability mm -hmm. and the daredeviledness i yeah. like that but as far as like the like when I'm walking to Macy's or Marshall's and I hear like, K -k -k, you know, like right next to me, I'm just like, get a job, you know? Oh, okay. Even though I'm, I am walking around also, but. Opera dog. The, um, the wiggles are the largest entertainment thing in all of Australia, if I remember correctly. The wiggles. Yeah, the wiggles. Oh, okay. Put on the wiggles on the upside down TV. Well, what about Bluey? Bluey's like the biggest thing in the world. I think it's Bluey. They just put out the Taylor Swift movie on Disney Plus, and Bluey is still more popular than that shit. So if you're more popular than the Taylor Swift movie, yeah, I'm going Bluey is the wow. biggest Australian guy. You know, I think that's a matter of fact. I like. Uh, I wish I could like Bluey. Who is he? He's a blue dog, and uh, he just hangs out. It seems like seems like he's friendly. Does he hang over with B Clifford the Big Red Dog? No, I think Clifford's dead. They had to put him down. Would they fight? Enlarged oh, heart. Did. Yeah. The uh, right. yeah, he uh, he got he ran after Thomas the train and just got killed. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's true, kids. So we got one more video coming up, which I really like. But go ahead, and then we're gonna get to your audience gripe. So go ahead if you got your gripes, think you're thinking about it, you're putting it in there. You can go ahead, you throw them in the chat. We got James over here monitoring the chat. He'll throw it. He'll give it to me, and we'll get to your gripes in a little bit. Yeah. So let us know. Blue is a girl. Yeah. This Pink a coffee girl. cake. Oh, well. I could be a lesbian. Yeah. But then they might. It was, how does Australia feel about gay relationships? They probably love it. Right. Yeah, it's very progressive. I go place. down under. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, here's our last video. I thought this was just. Here's the thing Bluey's the child. Bluey's the child? So it's a girl child? Mm -hmm. We're getting crazy. It's a girl. I yeah. didn't know this. This I is great. Am, I'm glad you guys are teaching us. I didn't know. I thought it was a full grown woman. Yeah, full yeah, but no, it's a it's a it's a little girl. This Bluey. makes me weird. What do you mean? This is what makes you weird? <laughs> this is what <laughs> this is the Just moment. Finding this out. <laughs> Just finding out. I don't want I don't yeah, no, no. All right, so I, I like, wanna yeah. I wanna get your opinion on this. I saw this video, I thought it was crazy and then like kinda cool, and I don't know if it's real or not. So um, I want to see your opinions in the chat, if it's real or not. If it is real, I think it's one of the coolest things in the world. Uh, so check this out. Katie. No, I'm not Katie. Stop saying Katie. What are you talking about? Talking to her? Hey, what are you doing? I'm not Katie. That's my girlfriend, Hannah, bro. I'm skipping you. <laughs> You're getting bro, skipped. what are you talking about, bro? That's literally my girlfriend. You know this guy? I, I don't know. What do you do with this guy? I don't know him. You do know him. You really don't him. know me. What do you? What does that even mean? You're saying that that's not you? That's not me. That's literally you right oh my gosh. I've never seen this guy. You were literally just at my apartment an hour ago. You said you went to go get your nails done an hour ago. I did get my nails done. They're done. Wait, wait. She couldn't have been at your apartment an hour ago. You said you're in Texas. I'm in Tennessee. Do you not see that this is the same person in the picture? No, I see that, but that's also impossible if she was there an hour ago. Where, where is your girlfriend from? My girlfriend's from California. You're from California. I'm from California. <laughs> 
Did you ever get those papers back from the adoption place? You were adopted? This yeah. is fake. If it's not my girlfriend, bro, then I'm gonna call her phone right now. And I'll you hear were it. adopted? What the fuck? Babe. What? Do you have fake. a twin? No. What's your name? I'm Katie. Were you adopted in San Bernardino, California? Uh, yeah. Babe, I literally think that you guys are twins. We could be. You guys are literally spinning image. Hair. <laughs> yeah, the hair's we pink. should do a trip. <laughs> We're going. I booked the flight. They're ready. <laughs> the flight? Oh, does she like wear SPF 3000? Does she hate flowers? Uh, yep. Does your girlfriend know how to drive? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were twins. Well, I'm glad it all worked out in this fake universe. <laughs> Sorry. I oh, like, thank you for showing the idiot video, Eddie. Yolandi Vision said, this is a skit, but a convincing one. The guy has a lot of good viral videos. Oh. I wanted it to be real. Well, you know, the want and the need. Yeah, two different things. <laughs> well, I guess they went together on this one. I needed a video, and I wanted it to be real, and so I showed it here on the brighter side, and now I'm just a fucking schmuck promoting this piece of shit. <laughs> What are you going to do? It's okay, Eddie. <laughs> I appreciate you wanted something real and beautiful to happen. You're right. Both of them have pink hair. Why would they both have fucking pink hair? Also, why are you blurring her face in the beginning of the video and not the end of the video? Right. What's the point of that? Because you have to blur it and post. It's the acting. Because they're like, wait a minute, bruh. My girlfriend's from California. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't believe those fuckers got me. That's okay. That means they're good at what they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gripe number one from Ursa M. Forvo. We're getting to our audience gripes now, folks. You've got about 15 minutes left, uh, so gripe fake in. internet videos, <laughs> number one. Well, the brighter <laughs> side is that you can look like an idiot in front of hundreds of people. And, you know, that what could be more humbling than that? I, you know, I think it's good to look stupid occasionally, because if I didn't, I'd fucking kill myself. The, uh, you have a big <laughs> heart, Ed. I do it. It's, it's slowly killing me. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Lil Ash, I need a brighter side of fracturing your driving ankle right before a planned trip involving a flight. Go. Well, you're going to save money on a rental car. That's right. And yeah. maybe this is the universe saying, like, if you were to drive, you would have gotten in some kind of accident. Because I hate driving, and I find that that's a lot of accidents and stuff happens. Yeah. Get an Uber. Yeah, and um, I don't want this to be triggering or not, in case you're a sober person, but get hammered. It's your on vacation. So just, yeah. Yeah, just get drunk and call Ubers and go around, and you don't have to worry. You have no response. You have less responsibility on vacation. This is going to be a truer vacation for you, Lilash. Exactly. It's also cheaper to not rent a car and just do Ubers. I mean, depending on where, of course, but yeah, way cause cheaper. Yeah, because sometimes it's like 100 bucks a day for these goddamn uh, you know, cars. cars. You know, but That's you, not even gas. Yeah, you know, so hey. Take an Uber pool. You meet some people. You never know. You're in another town. I think this is going to end up being good for you. I'm sorry. Actually, no. There's no way it's going to be good for you. You fractured your ankle. Let's be realistic I'm here. Sorry. And I'm very sorry that you're dealing with that. Uh, but, but you know, but people want to hang with you. Yeah. Pick me up. That's what I say. There we, we I go. love a car. You wanna hang. I'm at my house. You pick me up. Come to me, but McButts420. Do you feel like boomer adjacent now that an internet video fooled you? <laughs> I mean, I get fooled by internet videos all the goddamn time. My mom, when like in 2017, when like Hillary and Trump were going, there was a obviously photoshopped picture of Hillary with a American bikini on with like big fake tits and her face and obviously fake. And my mother was like, Amber, Amber, have you seen this video? This picture, she is running for the president of the United States, Amber. And I was like, this is fake. <laughs> this is so fake. I mean, I'd be, I, you know, she, you see some younger pictures of uh, She's Hillary hot. Clinton. Very attractive lady. Very attractive. You know? And also with this new election and AI coming out, prepare to get spicy. Yeah, well, I think I, I, that kind of stuff I get fooled by. But if it involves the government, I got to, I like, if I see something, I like have to research it afterwards for right. a long time. And then I just go into a different rabbit hole and end up getting pissed off about some other Uncommon shit. Uncommon Arts, thank you for subscribing with Prime. All right. Six Squirrel Gripe Resolution. What's that mean? A couple weeks ago, my gripe was that I had put down my cat. You guys suggested going out and rescuing a new one. Well, I took your advice and adopted a new little guy, and it's really helped me out of a dark place oh. so thank you so much thank you for helping me see the brighter side you guys rule six squirrel thank you for taking our advice thank you for being in a better place yeah That's and thank great. you for rescuing another cat she I mean, needed you she would have gotten shot in the head she would have gotten raped and shot in the head by the aspca yeah that's what they do to them mm -hmm. yep they do that i've 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 heard i've never 
been a part of it personally. <laughs> but um, but that's what they do. They drag them outside and they just slap them and 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 slap them. And, and, and they say no one adapted you. Yeah, yeah. And they you're, make them you're, cry. You're worthless. You're yeah. Just, yeah. So I'm glad you went out and got the cat. That's really cool, and I'm glad it's helping you out through this rough time. You know. And now, are you ready for this? Get another one. Whoa, make a friend. Yeah, get another one. And that you know way what? you can go out of town for a while and they'll hang out with each other. And you know what a good hobby passion project is? Is build a cat house. Oh, a little cat castle. You can do it with cardboard, yeah. you know, whatever, like a little material and like get some carpet people threw out, give it a wash so mm -hmm. it's nice and then just attach it. Make your like little cat kingdom. Yes, this is a great thing to do. It's a hobby for your time yeah. after work. I think you're I think you're on a on a full Train to Cat Town, and I want you to, and I'm here for it. Um, Carrie Joe, actually, wait, I have a gripe, colon, um, that Ed wasn't in the lunch meat tears of a clown, genuinely upset and needed thoughts on head cheese. Well, head cheese sounds like earwax. It is. Is that what head cheese is? Uh, no, it's like I, I think it's brain, right? I never eaten it, so I don't have a real thought on head cheese. But I imagine I would like it because I'm a big liver boy, mm. and, um, and so I think uh, I, I would like to eat it in front of people. Uh, but I've never tried it. I have to, you know, I'm, I'm probably sad to disappoint you again, Carrie Joe. And maybe that's why I wasn't on it because I don't know shit about head cheese. It's cheeks and jowls, but McButts 420 cheeks and jowls. Oh, well, I've eaten cheeks and jowls. Don't yeah, Rambo that. loves cheeks and jowls. Oh, we know that. We know that. But I've eaten plenty of, you know, whenever there's a pig roast. I think you and I ate cheeks and jowls together, actually, one time. We did? Yeah, at the creek back in the day when we had a pig roast. We did? Yeah, we had a pig roast, and then I had a pig down there, and then we were up all night eating cheeks. I don't remember this. I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, aren't, um, oh, Trashy Gashley, aren't you and Henry doing a sandwich episode? No, we're not doing a sandwich episode. We are doing a s summer ham, okay? Summer ham is a sandwich competition, oh. okay? With multiple events. Um, stay tuned. I imagine it's happening sometime in July. Summer ham coming to LPN TV. Ooh, do it on my birthday. <laughs> July 3rd, yeah. Right. We'll change July 3rd to July 3rd. <laughs> um, and Reese 47, this is a gripe about two years ago, but it's related to Ed's backpack story. I once bought and had to return a Columbia winter coat because it was too big. Somehow, the UPS store mailed it to the wrong address, and since I didn't insure the shipment, I never got a refund for the return. They were like, eh, we can't do anything about that, but I eventually got another coat that was the right size so you found your own brighter side first of all right so somebody got a winter you. coat somebody yeah. got it yeah that's yeah you're like a weird little santa claus i remember yeah. one time um we have this uh this kid in our lives his uh, his name's elio and he's cool as fuck and he loves rambo he's never met rambo but we facetimed and shit like that you know and uh he's a uh, you know a child of my friends, okay? He's not a random child I FaceTime with. And, and so <laughs> the <coughs> and so we show him Rambo, he's having a good time. And then we sent him a card, uh, a Christmas card, and we put a picture of Rambo in there because he really liked Rambo so much. And then uh, they sent us pictures of him like hugging the picture and like and like and like kissing it and Aww. like because he loved the Rambo so much. And I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. So we got him like a personalized pillow. With Rambo on it. it was, we, uh, we sent him a, a Rambo pillow, but we sent it to the wrong address. And so some random people just have a, ra a Rambo pillow in their house, and I think that's great. Uh, that is so, great. Yeah, but and then, we, and then we got another one, and we sent it to him. So he's got one, and someone else has one. You should one. mail him a shit tooth. Yeah. Elio would love a shit tooth. Yeah. Clean it off, scrub it with a toothbrush, nah. and send it to him. <laughs> nah. <laughs> did, did Rambo shit out like this part of the jaw, like the honking part? He chewed it and broke it into many pieces, and he's shitting out the pieces. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so Demon Lemur Nick. What up, dude? How you doing? Hey, Demon Gripe. Lemur. No one knocks anymore. What do they do? Uh, they call or just walk in, I guess. You know, like, you know, it's, I, I, I like a good knock, personally. I yeah. always do the seven knock. What's that? That sounds like a police officer. Yeah, the seven knock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do this. Ah, the old shave and a haircut. That's right. Yeah, that's good. No, no. Here's the um, the the P funk knock. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a P funk knock. 
Yeah, yeah. I like it's that the one the best. Of, it's the beginning of Cosmic Slop. Interesting. That does sound like a um, like a code. Yeah. There you go, folks. All right. Yeah, living your life. Big Buck Mitzvah 420. Ello, the child I FaceTime. Elio. All right. The child I FaceTime. We talked about him. Um, Vivinar, my gripe. I keep thinking of gripes and then imagining what you'll say the brighter side is, and it makes my gripes feel better so they aren't gripes anymore. You trained me to find brighter sides. Yay! That's a beautiful thing, Vivinar. That is beautiful. I love that. I think you're beautiful, too, Vivinar. You're living your life. You're taking that gripe. We'll take one more gripe if it's coming in. If not, I don't give a shit. We just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but uh, the, you know, so I think that's wonderful. I want you guys, and you know what you should do, Viv? I want you to go ahead and and tell me know what you solved on your own, because I'm curious. And here's, you know, I got a gripe. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? I can see myself right now. I'm looking at myself, and I'm covered in sweat. I'm dripping you look like, great. like an animal. You I think it's because I had three sips of beer. Mm. And, um, and I keep sweating through my hands. This one's all right. I put on a little blue eyeshadow. I think I like it. A light, light. Oh, yeah. I couldn't notice, but now that you mention it, it's there, and Just it's beautiful. Just very subtle. Thank you. But I'm ruining all my hats. And so I like wearing my hats because they hold the sweat, but then I sweat through my hats. Bandana. Bandana, they can see see your face. You can put on something cool. Yeah. You won't lose the hair. Okay. You know, and then you can flip it over to get the sun away from the from the back of your head. Bandana. Oh, oh yeah. I've been I've bandanaed on the brighter side before. I like wearing a bandana. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching the brighter side at our new time at six thirty p.m. It's going to be every other Wednesday. Uh, come check us out here on LPN TV. Naked Comedy says visor. Visor. I have a visor. But I'll sweat through that too. We'll talk about it. The uh, but next week do rag in, in this time. Ooh, do rag. Get a do-rag. Can I wear a do rag? Sure. Is that allowed? Let me know what you people think about me uh, wearing Let's do a, a poll do-rag. real quick. Can Ed pull off a do rag? Is that possible? Can we do a poll? Not no, yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yes. Okay. Kelly's saying yes. We're doing a poll. All right. A sh- big shout out to Kelly and, uh, and James here taking care of the brighter side for you all today. Um, Sans Eric, we are fucking not stopping no matter what. Uh, we miss you, Eric. I hope your baby is strong and. Healthy. I'm looking at what a do rag is because uh, I forgot. It's like a little, yeah. It's like a, a rag that you tie around. Oh and yeah, I don't on. know if Eddie, you can do. That. Yeah, <laughs> all, all the black guys used to wear them underneath their football helmets, and I, I didn't wear one then, so that would have been the time I could have gotten away with it. Oh, but there's one with this little charms on it. Ooh, you get char- the one well, with that's charms. a wig, isn't it? Or no? Do rag headpiece do-rag. from Devotion. Right. Seventy dollars. <laughs> Seventy dollars for? I think that defeats the purpose of a do rag. <laughs> You spent twenty to spend seventy dollars on it. Uh, thank you for the subs. Padma's the best, and and undercoming arts. We love you very much. Thank you for checking us out. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, just sub. It's for free. You can do it there. Um, uh, next week at this time slot. First of all, next week on fr- uh, at five, you'll see Spun again. Uh, that's someplace underneath with Amber and Natalie Jean, of course. And then on uh, March twenty seventh at six thirty p.m. Pacific, nine thirty p.m. Eastern. Tears of a Clown with Amber Nelson rating serial mascots by fuckability. That's right. very cool. Also, um, if you're going to be in Tallahassee area this weekend, I'm doing a show down there over a Pink's Aphrodisiac Oyster Shack. Um, and so, 55%? They 55- say yeah. Oh, 55% says Say I yeah. can wear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're trying to get me in trouble. I don't trust these fuckers. They're trying to get me in uh, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can. Get an American do-rag. Yo, that's how you do it. Yeah, you can do, Make America great do-rag. <laughs> that's that's going to be wonderful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll wear it in Tallahassee I'm gonna this see weekend. If they have that already. On Saturday at 8:30 p.m., I'm going to be at Pink's Aphrodisiac Oyster Shack hosting a free comedy show. I ain't getting paid, but it's John Strickland's birthday, and comedian Mitch is also on the show. We're going to have a great time. I'm going to talk about Publix. I'm going to talk about Florida. I got some friends coming. Danny Bedrosian from P Funk's going to be in the house. Chelsea Evans is going to be in the house. I've been hitting up everyone I haven't talked to in 20 years in Tallahassee. I'm like, I'm fucking coming, dude. Let's rock. 
you know. So hopefully some of these people still drink. It's great. And then we'll have a good time. They don't have a Make America Great Again do rag, but they do have a blue one, an oh. America one, um, a red camouflage. Okay. A shark one. Look at the shark one. I mean, I feel like the shark one I could probably pull off. Yeah, $25. All right. Uh, if you want to mail me a do rag, you can send it to um, the Brighter Side, care of LPM, PO Box 470, North Hollywood, California, 91603. That's right. Thanks can, for the subs. Padma is the best in Undercommon Arts. That's right. Um, and you can check us out. Check out our Patreons if you ever get a chance. Amber and I both have a Patreon. Mine's the home of the Eddie Tunes two hour radio hour and a bunch of other like, music playlists. And I talk about music. And I'm going to start doing Discord over there because I just learned how to do Discord last week over at the. Uh, because I did the seance over at the Patreon for last podcast on the Ooh. left. So I'm going to start doing discords, and we'll see what happens over there. Uh, what's going on over at your Patreon? I love it. Amber Smelson, a way to support me as an artist. We also have y- Yolandi Vision. Just don't wear a blue or red do-rag. You might attract the wrong kind of attention. I know those guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah They're yeah, not yeah. friends. No. It's, you know, you, you thought time would tell with that. <laughs> you know, and, and green? They, Is there a green mad. gang? Uh, yeah, I, probably. Is I there imagine a green there's, gang? there's one way to find out. <laughs> um, I'll tell you that. I'm part of the plaid gang. You know, it's me and all the other lumberjacks and our do rags sitting out there and hitting the streets and the trees, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, man. somebody says they are friends sometimes. <laughs> Amanda Ling. Hey, they can be. I, I guess. don't know Who anything knows? about gang culture. I what am I talking stay about? Evan. Hey, we vile dude. Thank you so much for the sub, the last minute sub. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning Miami in to Dolphins the Brighter Side. Miami Dolphins do rag. Yeah. That's it. Snots 22. Thank you. Thank you, Snots. I appreciate you, Snots22. You know what's up. 25 was Lewis Oliver's number, and I miss him. If you guys, anyone knows Lewis Oliver or how to get in touch with him, he's an ex-Miami Dolphin. He was a safety. He was really strong. He used to hit people really hard, knock their teeth out. He knocked Tim Brown's teeth out. He's a really cool guy. So if anyone, but yeah, so um, maybe I'll get one with his number on it. Hey, look, see, we found a brighter side. I found the brighter side. You're going to look really cool in your 27 Miami Dolphins do-rag. 25. But thank you so much, everyone. We will see you in two weeks uh, where we will talk to you about happy shit once again. Be good to yourselves, and we will see you soon.